<sighs> Save the best for last there. Oh, but of course, but of course. I him back out at the last minute. I thought he was coming on. Now recording. <sighs> you know, just FYI, Riley. It's not my fucking yeah. fault that I don't remember time zones, okay? Hey, okay. Uh, are we recording? Is it time? Did you start OBS? Yes, 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 it is. But just, you know, in my defense, I was playing Fallout New Vegas. In your defense, in advance. Now, um, I I get home. So I we scheduled this podcast for about like 10 minutes after I get home. So I was ready to jump. I was on my phone, ready to jump into the waiting room. And I see that Moe's in the stream chat. And I just kind of assume, like, I didn't realize he was streaming. I didn't see that because I just turned on my phone for the first time in five hours. So I assumed maybe he opted the wrong voice chat. So I hopped in the stream chat. I'm like, hey, Mo, why are you in the stream chat? And he was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then I'm like, we have a podcast to do in like one minute, Mo. It was like, it was like 29. We were going to record at 30. And Mo's over here streaming Fallout New Vegas. Like nothing's happening. Well, I'm sorry, but, you know, my interest peaked with fucking New Vegas. I was on the strip. I just got done talking to fucking Mr. House, and I'm getting to know all the fucking families on the strip, okay? I lost track of time, and I was still sort of thinking, well, it's it's going to be my 1030 and not y'all's Eastern Standard Time 1030. And, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and say that I'm retarded for not paying attention, and that was Both my bad. Time zone. Time zones shouldn't exist. We should all be at the same time. I don't give a shit whether the sun or the moon's in the air. It should be the same time for everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that'll work out fucking fantastically for jobs and Wall Street and all, all of that, right? <laughs> fucking dingbat. Who gives a shit about Wall Street? Well, I do. I want to own a home one of these days. I don't want everything to be a fucking Fallout. You know, I, I want to play in Fallout. I don't actually want to live in the Fallout universe, man. So... You're quite done. <laughs> I don't think it's very bassed at all. I think it fucking sucks. You know, I'm I don't bassed. want. You know, you, it's not very based and red pilled. Okay, it's not cool to bassed and get, ring. I don't want to get <laughs> butt raped by a fucking death claw. Okay, I think that fucking shit sucks. Bast or kring? Yes. You no, know, I don't want to be kring. Speaking of kring, let's go ahead and start the show. A one, a two, a skiddly diddly do. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. And, uh, you know, joining us today, of course, is the, the Windows error uh, sound, as you heard right there. Um, we uh, say hello to Robin. What's up, Robin? How you doing? Hey, I'm doing all right. All right, good. And, of course, Riley. Can't forget about him. Uh, so what's up, Riley? Which How you one? doing? Hey, Which no, no, one, I, I yeah, will get, one? I will get, okay, Riley, I will get to you. Let me get to Riley first, okay, Riley? All right. So, Mr. <laughs> Mister Brooks, how are you doing today? You have to call me Mr. Brooks this entire episode, though. The Bitch, you're going to get balls in your fucking face. I'm going to send fucking nut pics to your fucking uh, Discord, I swear to fucking God. You're just going to get okay today, Mo? you're going to get dick pics for days. You know I've been fucking asking that because I've been raging on fucking Facebook lately. I got told, and I'm quoting my, one of my great friends for Batum here. You know that's kind of funny and all that, but I'm going to be honest. Your posts have been really <sighs> bumming me out lately. I'm like, well, what the fuck, man? Like, you know, Facebook is the only place I can rant to my friends, and now I'm being told that you know my. Well, bordering on extremely black pilled, uh, fucking, because I've been really pessimistic lately. Like, oh, oh man, I, I don't, I don't know black what it is. Pilled on Facebook, that's what you're trying to say. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm dropping black pills on fucking. You're trying Facebook. to drop black pills on your own parents. How are they taking that? Oh, my grandmother yelled at me online, so that was, that fucking hurt. She was, she's very Jewish, so it's like, Bad of course, like she, pilled. yeah, uh, no, it's cring pilled actually, cring pilled. <laughs> Anyway, uh, speaking Mo, of your mistake was not immediately blocking your grandmother. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the that's... moment you make Facebook, your first step. See, here's the problem with that, right? So once upon a time, I the the policy was no fucking family members on my Facebook, and then my mom sent me an invite or sent me a friend request. I denied it, of course, but then she spent all day. Sending me fucking friend requests every single Who, time I would deny them. Because she thinks it's a glitch because she's an old woman. No, who she did you have on your Facebook if not family members? Because for me, 
the people I know on the internet don't use Facebook. Only my family members use it. So I just use Facebook to keep up with family. Who else is on there? Well, this was back in the day, so it was basically all my close friends that I did drugs with and all my drug dealer friends. Good, 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 good. <laughs> so, drugs, drugs, yeah, drugs, yes. drugs, drugs, yeah. Yes. And uh, yeah, I, use, I use Facebook to talk to my mom and ignore my brother. Those are my uses <laughs> <of> Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, nothing says I love you like blocking or muting you on fucking Facebook and social media. I I muted literally everybody on my Facebook. There's all I like there's I think two people out of the 48 friends I have who are not muted. Politics, man, can't just can't live with it. Oh, it's can't do it. It's fucking absolutely impossible, man. Like I used to rant about politics. How's your crusade of pretending they don't exist going, did you? It's going really well, actually, by, like, unfollowing most of the political shit on Twitter and just retweeting art all the time. I don't know. I kind of feel like I live in, uh, like, I have become an anime character and politics aren't real. I'm not in the real world anymore. Dude, that's actually straight up. I can't up. believe we have real anime character Digi here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was getting to that, uh, Mr. Brooks, as you want to be known uh, throughout this fucking episode. You're getting such a fucking hog pick later. Uh, you know, this is, uh, I would like to introduce to you uh, Birdstock. Say hi, Bird. What did you just call me? <laughs> I'm looking. Uh, you are no bird stork. Fuck. Okay, I'm looking at your. I'm looking at your fucking name right here, and I mispronounced it. Sorry. How's it he's going, ladies and gentlemen? He's Woodstock this is, this is from fucking stock. Charlie Brown. No, I said Birdstock. You know, so I fucked it. You know what? This is Bird, and, and say hi, other Riley, who's not Mr. Brooks, as he's wanting to be known this hey, fucking everybody. episode. Thank you for <laughs> me. And, a and yes, clap. Ladies. I'm clapping. And of course, uh, well, we have a special guest, uh, Digini. Say what's up, uh, lady. I'm actually just Digi now. I dropped the nay. It's all Digi all day. Just Digi. Everybody just called me Digi, anyways. Me too. That's, that's what I did. Part. Yeah. So, like, I figured that if everybody just calls me Digi, anyways, maybe I'm powerful enough of a Digi that I can beat the SEO. <laughs> The, the search engine optimization of every other Digi out there. Maybe I am the Alpha and Omega Digi, or at least if I believe it hard enough, it will be true. Uh, dude, I'm actually fighting another MoCast, which is a fucking anime podcast. And... The Moe cast? Yes, the, the, the Moe, Moe cast. cast. Yeah, so we have fucking rivals. No, we need to go on that one. The Moe cast deserves to live more because MoCast, I'm sorry, is a terrible name. There is no search engine occupation in this name. You need something more unique. You're already losing to an anime cast. Well, you, you know, change the name of this fucking podcast, my dude. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm working on another title. One day it'll show up, but One today day? is not well, that day. You, make, you can make that before this episode airs. You can change the name, and the episode can be called something else. I'm telling you, it has <laughs> to happen. Hurry, speed round. Pick a new name for your podcast. Go. The, the Moe cast. No, not the fucking Moe cast. Absolutely not. I will never bow down to the fucking Moe, to the sons of bitches at the fucking Moe cast. You know, I always want to keep the Moe cast just out of fucking spite for them. What, what just so I can fucking... Why no, I have Diggity? an idea. I have an idea. The uh, the Riley and Robin podcast featuring Moe Diggity. Hey, how about... Really good, I got a better oh, idea. How about the Shut the Fuck Up Riley cast featuring Moe Diggity and maybe Riley? Hey, Mo, don't talk to my boy like that. Wait, which one? <laughs> Shut up, be quiet, you. Anyway. I guess I better just accept that I'm going to be cringing for the next hour. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, you you really should. You really should. I've, I've got like a bottle you, of fucking rum. You really rum. have to specify, Mo. I can't tell you the amount of people on the internet who have shit-talked me assuming that I was this Riley. Oh, dude, I, I can't, I can't tell you how many times like people came up to me like what, they, they are supposed to be talking about you, but they're talking about the other Riley. Then I'll be talking to the other Riley, and Hold they'll on. be talking about you. It's fucking Pause. insane. There's, wait, there's an echo. Echo, echo. Yeah, there's an echo. Uh, Who's that going? needs to get a stage name is what I'm hearing right now. Yo, well, Riley Brooks, you should go by a rap name. <laughs> I could just go back to being Pegasus the gamer like I was two years ago. Please, that's please fucking call yourself Pegasus. 
Can I call you? Peggy? I already did for years. It wouldn't be that Jay big of a. has already got Peggy claimed. He's already doing that one. So. Okay. <laughs> this is some hot Riley on Riley action. The only kind of action you can come to expect on the MoCast. <laughs> Mo, Mo, it's less syllables than Mr. Brooks. So you can just call me Peg for this entire podcast. A lot of my friends yeah. do it anyway. A lot of your What's friends. Going Peg? Going. A lot of your so friends used pe- to calling me Pegasus, but they never kicked the habit. A lot of your friends peg you. Is that what you just said? <laughs> wow, really funny joke, Mo. Hey-o. Anyway, so, uh, my God, my God, my God. What have I become? What has I'm everything here, become? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Worshipping the bird. Worshipping the bird. Anyway, so this week I was kind of thinking that maybe we can talk about like our favorite comic book superheroes, or even if they're on fucking TV or. You were thinking. What... You were thinking. Oh my bad, my bad. I see. Th- this is this is an instance where I accidentally forgot to give credit uh, to uh, Mr. Brooks of uh, the other Riley for coming up with this idea Peg. for this fucking show. Peg, Peg, Peg excuse yeah. me, Peg. God, this is... All right, you know what? No, I'm not calling you fucking Peg. Come up with another goddamn name right now because, Peg, I'm thinking of... uh, I'm thinking of married with children, and I immediately just want to go, no, Peg, every time I fucking talk to you. You could also say Pega or Pega Sis. Pega? I can call you Sissy. Call you Sissy? That's a good one. In the brony community. I like that. The the girls were called Pega Sisters by some people, so every time I hear Pega Sis, I think of bronies. Pick of Pegasisters, yeah. Yeah, be a, be Pegasister. Brony Brooks. Strangely enough, it had no connection to My Little Pony at all, but, like, everybody I talked to assumed such. I just thought it was cool to think of horses with wings, so I was like, yeah, cool, that's an internet name. I mean, it is cool to think of horses with wings. Like, what if a horse could fly? That'd be awesome. Yeah. It's pretty fucking sick. It looks great on 80s, 70s and 80s fucking rock and roll albums. What True. if you be a flying horse? Push. Nice become, become a real flying horse. Aerodynamics, thermodynamics, dynamic solutions. <laughs> dynamic Sometimes punch, the Pokemon move. Yeah, all, all in a horse form, you know? Anyway, so, Riley, would you like to start us off? Are you a uh, uh, peg of... Pega Brooks, whatever the fuck your fucking stupid Pega name Brooks. is. Dumb fucking sissy. We want my sissy, sissy, right? sissy. All right, yeah, you fucking sissy. Uh, would you like to uh, start us off with what's uh what's one of your favorite fucking superheroes? I feel like this is. I feel like my answer is about to turn into a Riley tag team because I know he agrees with me on this. Oh boy, the Power Rangers are the most base superheroes. Okay, cool. I see, thought this was comic books. Yeah, 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 see. Yeah. There also, is a comic. Yeah, exactly. Okay, There's a comic. Fair, I guess. Boom Studios has been making it since 2016. Yeah, the okay. comic's fucking awesome, actually. You fucking hate me, man. I rescind my I am a, fake. I'm a Power Ranger expert, okay? Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> Riley is the authority. I watched Power Rangers in 1994 when I was three years old and y'all niggas wasn't born yet, but <laughs> I, will, I will defer to your expertise since I ain't watched it since. Imagine being old. Uh, and first of all, I, do I never all... specified comic book superheroes. It was Mo or Robin who ever fucked that up. They well, aren't comic book superheroes. Yeah, Riley, you silly bastard. They are, but I'm saying I was talking about the Sissy. TV show. I don't know where comic books all right, came all right, okay, into all right, all right, Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, I thank you. Superheroes. Yeah, th- <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Sissy Riley, for fucking correcting the record <laughs> live on, on the show. When you say Sissy Riley, I don't know which Riley you're talking about. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Well, all right. So, how about we have regular Riley and bitch Riley? I like that. I'll call. <laughs> that doesn't help either. Oh shit! All right. <laughs> you need better qualifiers. Look, there is no just... such thing as a regular Riley. Look, my name is Vizzy. I'm a guest on your podcast as musician, recording artist, so Billboard Vizzy, Vizzy, Vizzy G. G. Yeah. Uh, all right, all right. So it'll be Vizzy G and, and then Sissy Ass Riley. As musical guest Vizier and the Golden Witch, we yep. will be performing 
live. Uh, live at the mid show. Riley will be playing it off of his phone <laughs> and we'll do a little yo, 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 yo. And we'll drop. Now you have to, you have to call her the Golden Witch for the whole podcast. You call her, did <laughs> she leave? No, I'm fine with that. <laughs> no, you're. St- <laughs> <laughs> no, and. No, but. All right, so Riley, uh, or excuse me, fucking sissy bitch Riley. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? All right, so you're you're talking about your your favoriteest fucking uh, uh, superheroes, the Power Rangers. Well, please regale us with tales your of Power Rangers. Superhero, your favorite singular superhero is the Power Rangers. <laughs> the yeah, one, I wasn't going to the point that out. Then, if I had to clarify okay. one. Ranger Tiger Power! Ranger Tiger Power! So let me, yeah. so let me ask you, Sissy Riley, uh, why has it got to be the White Ranger? <laughs> Is there something that you're not telling us? Cool karate moves. Fuck you. Oh, well, what's wrong with the Black Ranger, huh? Black Ranger not getting any fucking love? You don't like the Black Ranger, huh? I bet you're a Power Ranger racist. <laughs> a Power Racist, if you will. <laughs> Power racist. You know, I was thinking about going with that, but I didn't think it really sounded very good coming off the tongue. But, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, Riley, all right, so, like, straight up, uh, what, why the White Ranger? What's what's awesome about that? Because he's awesome. He does cool karate moves. I really like how he looks. And he has a giant tiger robot. And honestly, that's, like, the best thing you could possibly have in any situation. Uh, which iteration is this? Is it the original or another iteration? The original White Ranger, the first White Ranger. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, that was, and he he was the Green Ranger, and then he became. Yeah, the he White was the Green Ranger. Ranger first, and then he became the Red Ranger, and then he became a different Red Ranger, and then like eight years later, he became the Black Ranger. <laughs> the badass. He sort of made his way across the spectrum. Yeah, he has a whole rainbow. You can make a whole Power Ranger team out of just Tommy. <laughs> Yeah, he's fucking ill. Tommy Oliver, you mean to say. A name which my... Uh, PCP member Tommy <laughs> Oliver. PCP member Tommy Oliver. Uh, was, and he was an amazing Power Ranger and now is an amazing cripple to this day. No, I remember. <laughs> back when the Brad Garlinghouse hack shit happened, I made like a dumb image edit of all of you as the Power Rangers. And I missed the opportunity of putting Tom on the Green Ranger. I put Munchie on the Green Ranger, and I put Tom on Blue or some shit. And somebody replied to me, and I was like, fuck. Yeah. You would think that you, who actually knows your Power Rangers, would have thought that. But alas, we are all retarded. <laughs> yeah, it, it did not go through my mind. <laughs> I remember uh, once upon a time. went by the logic of Munchie was like the newer one out of all of you. You're, so you're the green the of God, you'll still get into heaven, luckily enough. <laughs> there you go. I remember once upon a time, one of the Power Rangers challenged uh, CM Punk to a UFC fight. And that was that supposed was Tommy. That was that, that was guy, Tommy. All right, yeah, all right, all right. That was Jason David Frank. Dude, I was actually like unironically sort of hyped up for that fucking fight. One of my favorite wrestlers, one of my favorite Power Rangers, actually going into a fucking octagon <laughs> and actually like you know getting into a real fight. I figured that'd be like a lot better than what we got from CM Punk in the UFC. Because, dude, like, you talk about, like, some botches, man. I, I hate to rag on the dude, but he, he fucking failed just absolutely miserably in the UFC. Him? He is objectively a bad UFC fighter. Oh, well, I mean, because I'm a fan of him. I don't know. I just say that. I, I find it very funny. Like, I love Jason David Frank. I think he's a very cool guy, but I find it very funny, like a point and laugh funny, that his MMA career it's just it's just of exactly one fight. <laughs> He fought one person in an official sanctioned MMA match, and that was his whole career. Oh, why did he only get one fight? Did he lose or something? I I don't remember. I didn't know. He kicked his ass, but I don't remember why he didn't get any other fights. Hmm. I actually had no fucking idea that he was ever in the uh, UFC. I don't know if it was UFC, but I know it was some sort of official MMA. It might have been UFC, but the point was he only had one. He only had one professional fight. And he kicked the guy's ass, but he never did it again for whatever reason. No, CM Punk got his ass kicked. He he got his ass kicked more than once and stopped yeah. being a UFC fighter. 
Yeah, fucking twice, actually. Like, so bad that Joe Rogan commented on it and said, he really just doesn't need to be in this UFC anymore. That's my Joe Rogan impression for everyone. Can we hear that again? Yeah. Say, like, what? <laughs> Do it again, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Joe Rogan was like, you know, I don't really think that he should be in the UFC anymore. That was a really bad performance over there. It just looks terrible. Joe Rogan, not your Kermit the Frog? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, I wasn't... other impressions, Mo? Well, yeah, I do. I wasn't really striving for accuracy. It was sort of like a one and done. I didn't think anyone was actually going to call me out on this. You know, I didn't think anyone was going to call me out on my terrible impression. So, you know. Let me get an impression of your favorite superhero. <laughs> All right, hold yeah. on. We'll get there. I got one more thing to say about the White Ranger, and then we'll go to Mo. Oh, okay, okay. Beautiful. Don't forget I just want to say, All he's right. the awesome. I've been watching Power Rangers since I was an infant. I had VHSs of... I had a VHS of one episode of Power Rangers that contained the White Ranger, and he yeah. got his ass kicked in that episode. Oh. And even even though that happened, he was still my favorite one. Wow. And, to, and Tommy is awesome, and he's great, and I guarantee you, unless one of you is bringing in Batman, that if all of our superheroes <laughs> were, were stripped of their powers and forced to fight just by fighting, Tommy would win. What is it about Tommy that you like? Is it the ponytail? Is that it? Like, I did like his long hair. I did, I did aspire to have Tommy's long hair for the longest time, and I have it now, pretty much. Good. Me too. Me three. There you go. I think my hair is too long for Tommy Red Ranger hair. Because you're only supposed to have like the little bit of, like it's almost like Jean-Claude Van Damme length. And well, then again, there's a Jean-Claude Van Damme and then there's Steven Seagal length. But then you have to have a fucking huge gut and stupid fucking shades uh, to, you know, like combo with that. Anyway, so yeah, so Power Rangers, huh? That's uh, that's good. that's real nice, real real good content yeah, I there. I love that. Narrow it down to specifically the White Ranger is the the particular <laughs> favorite superhero of Riley Brooks. Yeah. Simply. Yes, the White Ranger. Yeah, if you want me to pick a generic one, I guess my answer is Spider Man. I really like Spider Man. Okay. No, like I was oh, actually. There we go. That's the content I'm looking for. What do you like about <laughs> Spider Man, Riley? Spider Man's cool. He shoot webs. He's super strong, Spider-Man's and I like him. He's funny. Which Spider-Man is your favorite? Um, I feel like it's hard. It's a hard, uh, hard choice between the one from the spectacular Spider-Man cartoon and Tom Holland. Tom oh, Holland. Okay, we're not even. Oh, I we're going it. like actor. No, no, no. Because Miles Morales is the best Spider-Man. Come oh, on. Well, if we're going between Peter and Miles, then Peter. No, 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 no. Not even a fucking chance. Riley, <laughs> visual genius. Back me up here. Uh, you must yeah, agree. I agree that... Fuck, I actually think me. Miguel O'Hara is the best Spider-Man. Uh, ben O'Reilly. <laughs> ben O'Reilly. <laughs> Isn't, is that the 2099 one? Is, is it Miguel O'Hara? That sounds dumb. That is his name. <laughs> What's the name of the Japanese Tokusatsu Spider-Man? That one's pretty cool. He's a giant robot. Who the fuck is thing. Miguel O'Hara? Who the fuck? <laughs> I've never heard of this character. Spider-Man 2099. He's future What's Spider-Man. What's the name of the Tokusatsu Spider-Man? We gotta look it up. Some no, Japanese not, there's not a Tokusatsu Spider-Man. It doesn't stop. There's, there's a Tokusatsu a Spider-Man? Oh, yes, no. there was a Tokusatsu Spider-Man. It actually expi- it inspired the existence of Megazords. Was the Tokusatsu <laughs> Spider-Man. There's a Japanese Spider-Man that. show called Spider-Man. Like, it's not a Tokusatsu Spider-Man. Yes, it is! He's a it's giant a robot! Spider-Man. Do you know what Tokusatsu means? I don't, fuck you, Digi. It's it just, just means Spider-Man. Tokusatsu means special effects. So okay. any special effects show, i.e. any show with guys in oh, costumes Oh, so every and Spider-Man? So it still means... <laughs> yeah, no. It, well, Go for it has to be no, Japanese that's, also. That's a more fair argument, but like, so... you didn't know that shit. No, but like, it's just a Spider-Man show. I don't see... Sure, it, it happens to be tokusatsu. Japanese. That's yeah, what right. makes it Tokusatsu. It's he could have said Japanese Spider-Man. It would have been more Japanese live-action Spider-Man. All of, any live-action Spider-Man would be a Tokusatsu Spider-Man. What? You're right in okay, fine. Japanese live-action Spider-Man. Are you happy, Riley? I'm guessing all superheroes are Tokusatsu now. Well, again, Tokusatsu just means. It's from Japan, Japan, and he has a giant robot. Oh, see, but Riley over here thinks the giant robots make Tokusatsu. 
it's like Tokusatsu is like you know if you if you have like explosions and guys in suits and fucking like you know, which it does yeah okay <laughs> but like if it's more digital than practical then it's not as likely to appeal to people who are going to call themselves Tokusatsu fan you know right. like but okay most of the Toku fans I talk to refer to this show as Tokusatsu Spider Band so. <laughs> fans want practical effects so if it's a show that's japanese and full of practical effects they're probably going to call it toku cool you know by the way his name is takuya miyamashiro that's what i wanted to know i looked it up there you go cool okay so spider-man cool now i want to watch shin godzilla again I actually want to check out this fucking Japanese Spider-Man shit that y'all are talking about. I've never really heard of that. Like, I, I... It's probably horrible. It's yeah. probably great. <laughs> great. Like, personally, I... Everything is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Everything is fun yeah. when you're part of a team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's great. Anyway, so, yeah... <laughs> I guess I never really heard of any of these uh, iterations of Spire, man, because I only ever stopped at. Uh, unfortunately, I'm I'm a fucking old bastard, so all I all I know is fucking Peter Parker. I never really got to read any of the uh, Miles Morales uh, arcs. I heard they were fucking Have really good. I haven't seen the Spider Verse movie. No. No, yeah. it's on Netflix. Yeah. Just yeah. watch yeah. it. Watch that movie as good as food. Dude, I've been uh, I've been watching some clips. Uh, I, I watched a couple of clips. The uh, Doctor Octavius uh, encounter. I've been watching. I, I watched that encounter. It was fucking really cool, and I'm really into the art style of that movie. I've just been. I'm always in front of my fucking computer, always doing other shit or watching bullshit YouTube videos. Why not play it on your computer. You can play it while you do this podcast. Oh shit! What yeah, but I got a, I got a sixty. <laughs> I got. A, yeah, but that's the thing. I got a 65-inch 4K TV in the other room, and I'd rather watch it on Just that. Just let us hear the whole movie. Just turn it up the full blast. That's the podcast. Is the audio of Spider-Verse. Oh, yeah, that's... If you haven't watched Spider-Verse by the end of the week, it'll be a worse week than it could have been. Just letting you know. <laughs> well, tell you what, I'll put that on the, the Mo to-do list. Good, good, good. In in a you know in addition to uh, possibly rebranding this show, so I'm not fighting with the goddamn Moe cast. Yeah, those sons a, of open bitches. Up a and fucking jot this shit down, because I don't know about you, but I'm drunk, so I wouldn't have remembered any of this shit. Well, which, any which is good. I myself right now, I definitely wouldn't have remembered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was debating whether or not to start drinking for this podcast. I was like, dude, I don't want to fuck this up. The I last just happened to be drinking. So I can't I drink illegally. Fun. It is a crime if I am to consume alcohol. Well, see, that's what makes it fun is that you're doing it illegally <laughs> and you're breaking the law. Once you turn 21, you're just an alcoholic and a piece of shit. So you know, like, drink when you're when you're young and, and rebellious. It can't be that illegal. I live in Florida. Florida. It definitely can't. There's no laws in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> it's Florida. I refuse to believe that anything, any laws are enforced down there. <laughs> There's no laws in Florida. It's just anarchy. I think so, right? Yeah. I mean, I know several people who have been in jail, so it can't be that the, the law has to be enforced. In, to that some doesn't degree. mean there's laws. That just means there's jail. <laughs> yeah, it means people got caught doing something fucking dumb out of state, but they were in here, so. Yeah. Mm. Okay, who's going to talk about their favorite superhero decks? Uh, Where's no. your impression? My impression of what? Your favorite superhero. We've been waiting. <laughs> Oh well, fuck, man. We were talking about other shit. I haven't even thought about that yet. This is like the second like week that I've been asked for an impression, and I, I have been like not on not on the ball as far as like quickly God, thinking of. Here, we'll okay. do a quick pause. Everybody, everybody, everybody pause. Incompetent. Once we know who your favorite superhero is, it'll be easier for you to do an impression because you can get a mental image of him. So who is it? Well, immediately, I, I would think that one of my favorite uh, superheroes is Earthworm Jim, right? You know, okay. Doug Doug Tenaple, yeah. one, Doug Tenaple, one of my favorite fucking artists, and uh, uh, made the Earthworm Jim games. Uh, you know, he he made that game, and for the life of me, I'm trying to remember if fucking Earthworm Jim even has a catchphrase other than "damn" or "yow" or anything like that. He just makes random fucking noises. 
Damn! Or Yahoo! Just read, just read the entire script of an episode of the Earthworm Jim cartoon. <laughs> you know, one of these days, maybe I might actually fucking do that, but not a... Uh, uh, what what are my favorite a dramatic reading of Earthworm Jim episode twelve? <laughs> like when uh when I was when Robin well, or, or not Robin about Earthworm Jim he doesn't even like he apparently doesn't fucking speak so what makes him special? Oh uh, well, what makes him special is that you know uh he's an earthworm that who had a fucking super suit fall onto him and he became anthropomorphized or whatever and turned into this fucking awesome like nineties. A uh, fucking hero, kind of like uh, Ash from the Evil Dead, or uh, uh, or what was the Army of Darkness for like a better point of reference yeah. for everyone? Uh, Frisco County Junior. So a guy Frisco County Junior. Yeah. Liners. You like the one liners? Yeah, I'm I'm super super into the one liner type superheroes. You know, it's why I liked uh, well, like all the western uh, like what, little. Uh, what was your introduction to Earthworm Jim? Uh, the video game, like everyone else, like since I'm an old man. Uh, I had a Super Nintendo, right? And when Earthworm Jim first came out, uh, I, I got thought Earthworm Jim was more of like a Sega thing. No, you know what? Was... I, I think he got like I think the game got ported to both was a Sega Super Nintendo version. and oh, Super Nintendo. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I just now, had to confirm. Yeah. Now number it's definitely two... more known for being on the Genesis, but I believe there was a Super Nintendo version. Well, we used to, yeah, we used to play, like, I played more Super Nintendo games than I ever did Genesis games, and I fucking mm. love the Genesis. Genesis has, like, a, a ton of solid fucking titles on it. But What's I, your I, favorite Genesis game? Uh, Sword of Vermilion. It's, a, it's an RPG with kind of, like, heavy uh, metal riffs in the background, but okay. it's, like, 16-bit freaking music, so it's got oh, that, it's got that weird twang. Uh, to it, and uh, it, it's got a really interesting art style uh, that just like really sucks you in. And the the combat, whenever you enter a dungeon, it's kind of like the uh, old uh, uh, oh, I, I would say like a not the immortal, but like a dun dragon dragon warrior. I think the first uh, dragon warrior uh, game, uh, you're just like walking up and down <laughs> through like a three sort of like a three D rendered world or whatever. It's kind of like that, and I've always liked that stuff. Good, good. Yes. I like Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star is really fucking cool. I never really got to play enough of that as a kid, though. I played a lot of Fantasy Star online as a kid, but I only played the classic Genesis games recently. This game looks badass as fuck. I love the way it intros. Mm. Hell yeah. Listen to that shit. <laughs> that is awesome. What am I? Uh, sort of like a little side tangent. Oh, someone's fucking coughing that, up a lung. Who's oh, taking oh, a that, dab? That, that game looks ill as fuck, so I will look into it. Cool. Another game I really like is The Immortal. That has a really cool little uh, uh, intro. It's it didn't get a whole like a whole lot as far as the budget was concerned. And it was almost kind of like a like a, it was written like a D, someone's D and D game, but like once you really get into it and all that, like the traps, the monsters, the puzzles, it's fucking really cool. And there's an awesome sequence before you get to the last boss where you're swimming in underneath a sewer on a fucking bucket, and you're having to uh, uh, kite this uh, kraken that's uh, guarding some treasure. And you have to got you have to kite it all the way down to this fucking whirlpool, and it's like fucking super hard. But it, like it's it's really scary because like the whole time you're fucking rowing away from it, there's fucking air bubbles just going bloop bloop, getting near you and near you. And if you get caught, you see a fucking tentacle uh, show up and fucking drag you down into the water, and a fucking blood puddle fucking show up. It's really neat. Y'all hear that blowtorch? Yeah, I heard it. Who's taking a dab? Did you? Nice. Cough into the microphone. <laughs> okay. All right. Who would like to go uh, over very there? Good, uh, super. Good. Who would like to go next? I think it's Robin's turn. Robin's turn. Uh, she's grabbing moonshine at the moment. <laughs> Holy shit! For any of you who are, well, uh, we're not really recording vi visual, but Robin. 
went to go get herself some moonshine, and it's in those uh, oh. typical fucking glasses. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Um, moonshine's really the shit. Like, I I'm not a big superhero <laughs> fan. I have some comic books. I really like Hellboy and Batwoman. Um, why do I like Batwoman? Uh, she's a lesbian, and the art's really good. There's really not much more to it than that. Uh, she has cool red hair. Fights bad guys with cool page spreads. Honestly, it's probably just the art. <coughs> I really like I really like her stuff in the Bat Family uh, arc in the comic books. I thought that was really cool because I've been reading I've and read yet, but I would like to if you say it's cool. Oh yeah, I've been watching a comic historian and looking, uh, uh, checking out his uh, synopsis videos for a lot of those, and I've been able to get, uh, I've been getting up to speed on a lot of modern day comics. Some of them are hit or miss, but uh, for the most part, I think the Batman series has done phenomenally well the last couple of years. I think. So have you just been like reading all of the uh, splinters from Batman, like everything related to it? Uh, more or less, uh, like, uh, uh, you mean all the, the backup, uh, stories and arcs and stuff for Batman? Oh. Well, I mean, like, Batwoman, Batman, oh, oh. Batwoman, all the related, you know. Uh, only, I, I've been reading a lot of, uh, the, the Red Hood stuff and his arcs and junk, because okay. I'm, I'm really into the whole, like, uh, chaotic neutral, but bordering on, like, you know, some sort of neutral good sort of uh, superhero, like, the anti-hero. But like I think Jason Todd's got like the most like the coolest tragic backstory, uh, you know the fans wanted to kill him off and they did and then they got pissed and they got he got brought back, but the way he got brought back I thought was really fucking cool because you know the cool, yeah the Lazarus Pit and Rachel Ghoul and uh uh his fucking his order has always been has always been uh uh really great I've always loved their Is arcs it and stuff. Race? It's Raish or Ra's al Ghul. Like I'll, I'll hear different pronunciations for it. The only, the only, the, my only familiarity with the character is the CW Arrow show, and they definitely call him Ra's in that. Ra's al Ghul. <laughs> uh, I, you know what? I thought about it. I'm actually going to say my favorite superhero is Devil Man. He's not a Devil Man. Superhero. Yeah, he's a manga character. Uh, but Devil Man. I've kind of been obsessed with Devil Man because the idea of Devil Man is that um, he is the fusion of a human and the soul of this demon called Amon. And Amon is basically like the most empathetic demon. He's like the demon who is the least demon like. Because all demons want to do is fight and eat each other. Like they just fucking, they just fuse together through killing and eating each other and then getting stronger. And Amon is like, you know what? This shit's whack. So he inhabits a human soul, comes to the human world, tries to do something about shit. It doesn't go well because his best friend turns out to be Lucifer. Uh, Lucifer fucking kills him and destroys the world. But Devil Man was still based till the end. And I have to say, uh, I want to be like Devil Man. Just somebody <laughs> who's like, you know what? Hey, fucking people is cool, but also shit is fucked. So you got to stay woke basically all the time. <laughs> uh, going, kind of going back to uh, what was it? Batwoman that you were talking about? Yeah. Uh, have you watched the CW show of Batwoman yet? I have not. I had heard it was not good, but then Riley, not Brooks told me that it was okay. So maybe I will watch it. Well, you know, Riley, not Brooks has a big boner for CW. So. All the CW shows are equally. I added. only like Arrow and like right. the first four seasons of Flash. Yeah, but that's why. What's that opinion based on? I watched the show and I enjoyed watching the you show. Watch shows or like Legends of Tomorrow is better than both of those shows. Yeah, I totally fucking agree, I man. Legends of uh, like it seems like an uninformed opinion to say that. You like the first four seasons of Arrow, which are, like, the lowest funding. No, the first four seasons of Flash and all of Arrow. Oh, all of Arrow. Well, that's actually a worse answer. Liking all of Arrow. <laughs> all of Arrow is definitely not good. Right, lots of Arrow is bad. That's the Arguably word. all. 
Most. Uh, I have not seen Legend of Tomorrow yet. All the clips I've seen were awesome, though, so I'm definitely going to watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah Legends, um, Legends of Tomorrow is definitely a show uh, worth getting Legend into. Is show that stands on its own as a <clears throat> drama that matters. That was a good one. I haven't seen every single uh, w, uh, CW uh, uh, d- uh, fucking show yet. But I, yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward to actually watching Black Lightning, and I'm I'm hearing that Star Girl is pretty okay. But like I just want them to, I just want them to tone down the hokiness just a little bit, because I, yeah. I want I I would like the I, I love the serious episodes of the Arrow and Flash, and uh, uh, like the comedy really does belong to uh, the Legends of Tomorrow. A show because I think that's my favorite out of fucking all of them. Like I'm like you, I've got a huge hard on for the CW fucking shows. Flash had some good comedy, especially early on. Yeah, it was, but they they started doing that thing where like they have the one popular comedy uh, episode during a season, and that becomes like their uh, their running gag. They actually they they like they have to have like one or two in there, and it becomes a little bit off putting because sometimes they can do the humor and sometimes they can't. Not that I'm complaining too terribly Ralph much though. Tries to help Cisco get over his breakup, and that's like the whole no, episode. The Flash thing is like a side thing. Do I fucking love Ralph though? We don't talk about. Ralph. <laughs> Yeah, we can't talk about him anymore. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, dude. And he lost subscriber. Dude, like, Elongated Man was unironically my favorite fucking uh, uh, dude yeah, I fucking on there. That character. And honestly, whether I gave a shit about Elongated Man, his character being removed from the show is a ma- Like, I won't, and I can't be fucked to watch it anymore. I spent two years building up to. Him meeting Sue Dibney. Yeah, and, and yeah, the, the, like, the show's over. And it wasn't even that bad of a fucking joke, man. I fucking said worse yesterday. There is you no know. that bad of a joke. I say worse every day than anything anyone has said ever. <laughs> I'll believe it. The worst, the, the world record for worst joke, the most horrible joke ever, goes to Digi. Yeah. I'll oh, fuck. Make the worst joke in history, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, I'm... The cannon is loaded. <laughs> the cannon is loaded, ready to fire at any point in time. We don't know when it's going to go off, but we'll know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, I'm still going to watch the show, but I'm definitely not going to watch it in any official capacity. I'm, I'm going to be finding, like, other streams and other ways to watch it because, like, I've been watching the show anything. for fucking years. Yeah, no, not buying a goddamn thing. No more money for the Flash uh, uh, seasons or anything until this, you know, till he comes back. Because Elongated well, Man, so you know, that's such a great... Uh, in, in we're removing the dynamic for uh, Iris and... Uh, <laughs> And fucking Joe's wife, what's her fucking name? They were all friends. It made them be- better characters. Like the three of them had a really unique, uh, a really unique dynamic. And for him to just get fucking bounced just because controversial humor several fucking years ago is so absolutely fucked. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, they all started going downhill when Kreisberg got fired from the Flash. He helped develop the universe with Guggenheim. Uh, and he was removed because he had, like, complimented Supergirl on set or something in an inappropriate way. Whatever. <laughs> what was the inappropriate way? Like, hey, babe, nice tits? I hope it was nice tits, <laughs> whore. <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> ass, Supergirl. <laughs> nice ass, whore. <laughs> uh, it was Supergirl's. I want to see how super of a girl you really are. You know what I'm saying? Dan Schneider. Uh. <laughs> God, what a no, dis- super girl. Directed by Dan Schneider. <laughs> written, you know, I mean, to be fair, script- it would probably be an infinitely better show at that point. With his script written by Quentin Tarantino, it's just him fucking just sucking on toes for an hour it's and a half. a whole lot of Supergirls to be... Uh, disgusting. And and Joss Whedon has the same fucking problem, too. If you ever watch uh, Serenity, it's basically that fucking one character's feet the entire fucking time. If you watch the director's uh, commentary... Joss, Joss Whedon, Whedon, yeah. What did I say? 
that's the um firefly guy right yeah 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 and yes. all the other weird hokey late 90s <laughs> shows that had one season that got canceled like what? remember Name yeah, fucking like, yeah, yeah, what are you talking about? Oh no, Buffy he was a massive success. But, Angel no, was a massive no, success. He Dollhouse is from like two thousand four. Yeah, well, I'm also talking about Dollhouse though. Dollhouse didn't really last that long, and then there was that one show. Two Hold on, uh, and then there was that one show where it was a, uh, uh, it, it was a fucking. Yeah, no I've shit, right? Didn't coach. know that I had the the walking wicked Jossipedia Joss- <laughs> Joss- here. No, nah, but th- there was this Jossipedia, the guy who made the Avengers, yeah, oh, fucking seen, a hokey uh, '90s director. I've didn't seen the Doctor well, Horrible. No, I'm just talking about his TV shows. We're not talking about the Avengers yet. The Avengers was arguably pretty good. Uh, will stop. I mean, there's but, still only two shows that. Like yeah, well, the very long. Yeah, there there's that one show where it's like a mercenary chick or whatever, but her DNA is spliced with the cat, um, and then there, you know, that that was oh. fucking shitty. I like girls with guns. Mercenary like, cat girl. Yeah, it was like some. It was mercenary, but it was a uh, uh, some some experiment experiments just a uh, heightened human senses for mercenaries and bullshit. And it was like splicing DNA of a cat, I, and there's. I, I, you know, I've seen so few shows with real people in them. I the only live action shows I know are Atlanta and uh, Community. That's it. I still I haven't watched. I, I still haven't watched cartoons. Community. Yeah, I I need to watch Community. I've been hearing for years it's, it's fucking good. great. It's I, pretty good. I would watch it again, uh, and I should. I watched Nurse Jackie once upon a time all the way through. That was a fucking. Nurse. Jackie, I've never heard of that. Yeah, if you're into medical dramas like ER and House and stuff oh like that. Is oh, that okay. The one where the chick just takes drugs constantly, and that's the that's the show. Well, well that that's. I love drugs. Oh, all right, all right. So it's like a kind of cute, short-haired uh, lady, uh, fucking just doing fucking pills all the time. I mean, it's a lot more than what you know, Sissy Riley said, but you know. Yeah, yeah, I, get, I know that. Drives through his boss's wall. I know what house is. House is great for sure. I just like TV shows that you have like one anime. idea are just like well, they because everything else is too long. Like anime is short. Like I could watch uh, British shows as well. Like they, house they're is short. basically a British show. But house is like three hundred episodes long. Oh, isn't like, it? Yeah, it's like eight seasons. <laughs> house is British. <laughs> long. Dexter's coming back. Dexter's too long. Fuck Dexter, and Dexter's garbage. Dexter is well, just the last season of Dexter's bad. Don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. Every Rob. show, every show is garbage. That's not it true. all just turns to garbage. Atlanta is good. And, well, so far. Atlanta can't be filmed because they're all famous independently. Good. Now. There's all. I don't care if they I make more. more. I, I want season more. two was marginally worse than season one, just like Rick and Morty. And therefore, unlike Rick and Morty, it should just end. And I don't even <laughs> they don't need to make more. I don't care. I don't need more. I'm used to shows being 13 to 26 episodes. That's anime, in my mind. I know a lot of people watch long fucking anime. All shows should become anime. Yeah. Well, the one no. piece well British shows are like six episodes long. Like, British shows are short as fuck. And Every it's show needs to be like... Yeah. Always Sunny in Philadelphia or One Piece. They need to go forever until the people involved are dead. But Always in Sunny can go forever. Yeah, it's like an anime. But it's very rare. One Piece is not designed to go forever. It has a planned ending. It is just Ow. very fucking long. Like, oh, okay. It's in its last, like, stretch. It won't last so more The One that. Piece is the friend we made and along if, the And way. if you read it, it's like That's nothing true. happens in a cha- in a chapter. Basically fucking nothing. And That's you're like, not, it's, that can't One Piece be is just true edging. because my friend's doing fucking, like, 45 to 90 minute podcasts I, about every I, chapter I, of One I Piece. I read there One Piece and it's just, like, it. constantly edging. Like, Have you ever listened to the manga. <laughs> I'm not saying it needs to be 45 minutes long. I'm just saying. Like, they're getting that much information they get that They're much analyzing, out like, six pages. Like It's 20 pages a week. It it's doesn't feel there. like the it. The world is just so massive that everything has, like, insane ramifications, at least if you listen to Nate. Yeah. I love One Piece. It just it does just feel like you're just I'm slowly edging. 
over and over. Well, I mean, if you're listening, if you're reading it at 20 pages a week, I mean, this is kind of a problem. Like, uh, if you read Bleach, for instance, Bleach is clearly written in a way that it's meant to be read at once. You are not meant to read it week by week. That's how it was released because it's the only sane way to release a comic. At like, like right, twenty yeah, pages a week is already way too fast. Like the people who That's do hard. Shonen Jump are fucking insane, and they have assistants granted, but like they do work constantly. And so, like, if you read Bleach all at once, it feels way better. If you try to read it like week by week, it's fucking insufferable because like literally one thing happens per chapter but like when you read it all at once that doesn't bother you like it feels right it's paced correctly and the author literally said from the beginning like yeah that's how it's supposed to be read like never mind that it took me 20 years to tell this story it is meant to be read in three or four afternoons yeah and there's stuff that's written the other way too like there's shit where you're like, oh, you're you're not supposed to just sit and read this whole thing because it's garbage. It's just, the, the whole thing that was leading up to you know some fucking garbage shonens are like, oh, what's gonna happen next week? What's gonna happen next week? And that's like the whole thing that they're running their whole fucking company on is just hype and hype and hype and hype forever. I've seen exactly two episodes of Bleach. The first one was by accident when I was a child, and I knew I had known generally what Bleach was, but I just caught an episode on Adult Swim, so it was obviously like episode 740 or some shit. And the whole time I'm watching and I have no idea what's going on, I'm just like, where's Ichigo? <laughs> that's the question I asked myself. I'm like, and that's where is another he? one where the anime was didn't really do the manga justice for Bleach, I don't think. And then I watched the first episode on YouTube. I'm like, this this makes much more sense than episode 872. <laughs> yeah, it's like you figured out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Ichigo was in you, that one. Ichigo was in the first episode. Watch, why would you watch something like Bleach or One Piece? That just seems like a huge time commitment that nobody should go through ever. Bro, why would you watch anime? Yeah, why would you watch anime when you just read it? <laughs> Why did you watch anime where you can read anime? You mean manga? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, it's just the superior way to consume anime. It's just reading manga. Well, that actually seems more time consuming, so I don't really know. That's how I I've consumed all of Dragon fast. Ball. I've never watched the whole anime. I've read the whole manga, though. You just read fast. I think the show for Dragon Ball and all the Dragon Ball shows are a lot better on TV than they are on the uh, I've the manga. The fights. Like, I've watched like the fights and like the good episodes of Dragon Ball Z. I've just never sat down and watched the whole thing, but I have read the whole thing. Well, see, there you go. That's your first mistake right there. Is like you got to watch the entire fucking thing, including all the shitty fucking filler episodes where Krillin is having a fucking Mr. midlife crisis. Robot. Mr. Robot is the most emotional thing in history. What the fuck is a, a Mr. Robot? <laughs> we had this com- we had this conversation in the like anime a episode. We're not going uh, into all the programmer, I think. <laughs> no, like no, Rami no. Malik. Gohan, Gohan runs away from home and he meets a robot, and the robot sacrifices himself to save Gohan's life. That sounds like the fucking cell tournament, the cell games. No, no, this is like super early on. He like runs away from Piccolo's training and he meets a robot. And, like, he befriends the robot, and then the robot has to sacrifice his life to save him. All right, I'm going to be completely honest with you. With you. I have no idea what fucking episode or manga chapter you're talking Mo, about. Mo, we talked about this exact, this exact episode. <laughs> when, 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 do we, well, when the hell was this? Because I, I drink and smoke the a lot. The anime episode. Which anime episode? We, the haven't one we had, we like, three? Of the Mocas. Which one? Haven't we had, like, two or three of them? No! <laughs> Mo, you hit your head. No, no, no. I just smoke myself <laughs> retarded every day. That's my problem. So I kind of forget it's, shit. It's equivalent to hitting your head. It's just like completely telling yourself that you're like, you're very dumb. It's You're going to believe it eventually. Well, yeah. But, you know. Anyway, enough about me being stupid and all the mistakes I have made in my life. Uh, Robin, would you like Hello. to tell us? Hey, hey, how you doing? Nice to have you on the show. You know, it's fucking great. You're contributing. Oh, you're you. doing well. It. All right. So, what Very is your... infrequent that we see her on the show? <laughs> her... Sissy Riley, shut up. All right. So, Robin, what's your what's one of your favorite superheroes? 
All right, one of my favorite superheroes. You ready? Yeah. It's the Doctor. I knew this was going to happen. I was somehow, I was primed for this. <laughs> okay. All right, explain to me who the Doctor how, who is. is. How are you primed for this? Somebody told me that your favorite superhero was the Doctor. I think Riley, Miss Riley probably said something yeah, about it. Sense. Yeah, you fucking leaked my plans. What the hell? <laughs> Not to anybody that doesn't live here. <laughs> Half the podcast lived there. Treated as the same person. That's just how I operate. I bleed into people. We become like colors swirling together. You're the Digi Collective. Exactly. The Digi Collective, right? Yeah, the Doctor, the the best superhero, travels through time, regenerates. All right, hold on a sec. All right, what what what's the question? What's your favorite anime? My favorite anime. Uh, yes. sometimes, like, alright, so I'm not, like, a huge fucking weeb, but, like, some of my favorite shit Whoa, is... why do you say that, like, it's a bad thing, though? Well, because, like, I know, because like, I'm about to say, like, a, a fucking typical, like, top 20 fucking anime that everyone watches, and I know that I'm about to get a ton of shit for it, but I really, really like Trigun a whole lot. I think that was, uh, Trigun, Cowboy Bebop, and... There was a bunch of like 80s and 90s anime movies that I really liked a whole lot. Some of them got the big time, some of them didn't. I don't remember half of them though, because I used to watch anime when it was all on the sci fi channel, like Friday and Saturday night anime. That's how I got exposed to it. You have to watch modern anime, Mo. You should try Sword Art Online. I am sent I'm into a video game. I, I'm, I'm mostly into the first season of Sword Art Online, and I'm fucking bored. Like no, it's, it's been, the best. It's, it's the best stuff. anime ever made. It's such a Watch great the anime. episodes and then skip seventeen episodes, <laughs> and then enjoy it. No, just skip all the way to Alicization. Like it. No. Yeah. Alicization is so good. You know. Like the last time that I took like well, a, just I, skip all the way to Mother's Rosario and then you're good. Well, yeah, but I'm not going to know what the fuck is going on though. That's the problem. Yeah, who I, cares? I need to. I, well, I just I skip need the tentacle rape and then get to the just real rape so and then oh, just, like, imagine line. the rape what? didn't happen. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ten, tentacle uh, tentacle rape. Trigun. 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 Cowboy Bebop. Trigun is good. I was. Well, I was telling Mo to watch more like the modern classics, like Sword Art Online, and he's not listening to me. Well, Sword no, I, I'm I'm going to listen. It's not worth watching. It is boring. <laughs> it's fun. it's a modern it's classic. It's boring. It's very. I actually unironically enjoy it. It's a mostly, but I know it's flaws, and I accept that it's horrible. But I love it, it anyway. It, I don't even think it's bad. I just think it's boring. Yeah, I, it's like, I, I can. I can make an argument for why it's a great show. I just don't enjoy watching it. it bores me. But that's because I have ADD, and it's just not... I need things to be constantly overwhelming me, or else I'm fucking bored. Did you Did you get past Fairy Dance? No, I've seen, like... I've seen the first two seasons. Yeah, um, you, you gotta just get to... Elicization. Just skip all the way to Elicization. Elicization seems... I've seen the first four episodes of that. It's... Seems insane. It seems fucking ridiculous. It is so good. insane as fuck. Oh yeah, Robin likes JoJo, so her anime opinions are kind of like JoJo is good. Weird. JoJo, JoJo is actually the best like, anime of all most... time and the best manga of all time. Well, I mean, so. the manga is like so influential that it's like, I mean, Yu Gi Oh is JoJo, like straight up. Yu Gi Oh, like wouldn't oh, everything is JoJo. Since Kaiba and Yu-Gi-Oh. well, just like the cards are the stand. Like the right, the idea yeah, when Blue Eyes it, shows up behind Kaiba, that's the stand. It's just the way that it's presented is very similar, but like, whereas JoJo is like violent in a more literal sense, Yu Gi Oh abstracts it in a way that makes it more kid friendly because except it's like, for season zero. Well, of course, yeah, but like originally it was violent as shit, but like once they made it a card game, then it's like, oh, we can have the violence not be kind of real and then. Obviously, four kids took that to another level, but uh, that's a good thing. I think it's good that Yu-Gi-Oh! permeated the world, inspired children to become game-obsessed sociopaths who want to fucking <laughs> send each other to the Shadow Realm. And who spend thousands of dollars on playing cards. I'm, you know what? I will watch Critical open 
36 <laughs> boxes of cards, it turns out. He I broke that's even. I will do. He did that. Because I'm, of that one I mean, pull he had that was like a thousand dollar card, he broke even. It's on probably all those worth packs. doing if you have the, like, do I even it's have not. the patience he has to actually open 36 Ooh. boxes of cards? It doesn't seem like a talent, you know, it's actually what. Chinese children do in factories for much less than he makes doing it, but <laughs> like, would I do it? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know if I have the capacity to open thirty six boxes of Yu Gi Oh cards. So congratulations, to Critical, for having that. I what a boss. I heard about that uh, that thousand dollar card pool the other day. What card was it? I fucking find out. I don't play that game anymore. Did he anymore. finally get the one he was looking? At? The the dragon, the uh, the fucking yes. what? That guy, you know. Yeah, he, he pulled the the fucking dragon thing. Thank I had it was now, it's worth a thousand dollars. Like it's fucked up that I now want to watch the video where that happens just because I watched like forty five minutes of him looking for the thing in a different video that he didn't get it from. Now I feel like I need the payoff of that. This is what culture has done to me, is that I am now at a point in my life where I'm excited to watch a man open Yu-Gi-Oh cards. He I don't even just play the individual Yu-Gi-Oh. card. He could have just bought the individual card. But then he, he wouldn't have even on all the packs. True. See, this is how... But then board- you could just sell the card if you want your money back. <laughs> well, you won't make the save you spent on it. You Like, that doesn't happen, right? Mm, it depends on how long the card stays meta. It's a lot of shit in it. It might go up. It might go down. Well, you'd have to just sell it immediately for it to be worth the same, and then you'd just make the exact... Like, it would be a zero net sum, right? Like Yeah, but he's probably not going to sell it immediately and break even on all the packs he bought, and he's probably going to end up being in the hole from all that. Even It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he has critical. a fuck ton of money. Yeah, of course, yeah. he has a fuck ton of money, and it was for the content, not for trying to right. get the fucking rare card. But, uh, well, it's not... I mean, you could say it's for the content, but it's for the fact that he's addicted to open Yu-Gi- opening Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Like... It's the column part A, of column B. Hunting for it, for sure. I watched that motherfucker on Dr. K. He literally said, he's like, yeah, I have an addiction to opening <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh packs. I was like, I understand. I have an addiction to... Uh, Drugs dab. and alcohol. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Drugs, alcohol, everything in between. Um... Dopamine. I have a dopamine addiction. That's what I have. Oh, don't we all? Uh, I'll be totally honest with you. No, apparently not everybody. Some people are just like, like lacking in dopamine. And those people, I have to say, like, man, I hope you're okay. I know I'm not. They should try heroin. My serotonin deficit is (laughs) definitely not okay. So I got to catch up to those people. I'll be honest with you. Some of my favorite uh, uh, content from one of my favorite YouTubers, Merc Music, uh, he'll make fucking 20, 30 minute videos of him opening nothing but loot boxes from uh, insert Call of Duty fucking game here. And I I'll, I can watch that shit all fucking day. Uh, what is, uh, what's your, like, why Call of Duty loot box? Is oh, I, I mean, just. Like- I just I just enjoy it, and for some reason or another, he he fucking banter's on enough to where it's like you know passively entertaining. And at that point, I'm just like, ooh, that's a really nice one. Oh, that's a fucking what, that's a legendary dupe. Say, what does he say about what he's receiving from the loot boxes? Like, does he analyze the guns or anything like that? Like, what does he uh, talk about? Uh, he'll analyze the uh, the guns, the the uh, the fucking tags, and all the other bullshit on there. And this gun he, go boom more than this gun. Yeah, shut up, shut up, shut the fuck up, bitch Riley, <laughs> sissy bitch Riley. Well, okay. My follow-up question would be: Does he analyze them more from a gameplay perspective or from a real-life perspective of what those guns oh, are like? Oh, yeah, gameplay because there's just no way you can do that real life. Yeah. He, like even I though use this gun to go boom, opponent die. Yeah, like, e- even though fucking Warzone's supposed to have uh, some of the most realistic uh, bullet drops, trajectory, and all that bullshit, it still doesn't fucking mean a goddamn thing to actually go in and shooting those guns, which I did, like, I did some of them a few weeks ago. It was fucking amazing. Oh, yeah, wait, what guns were you shooting a few weeks ago? I want to hear about that. Uh, I fucking shot a Car 9-8. I shot a, a 
like this fucking this old World War Two rifle, which the name of it fucking escapes me. And uh, uh, what was it like? Well, describe it. Oh well, <laughs> well the fucking kickback on my shoulder was fucking hellacious, right? With the car nine eight, but after you fucking shoot a couple of rounds, it gets really you know you you get used to it, and then you're so just fucking enjoying it. Gun. What was the World War Two gun like? So oh, the World War Two. Oh, it didn't really have much kickback at all, man. It was kind of like a medium pushback on your fucking shoulder. Are we talking about like a machine gun, a handgun? What kind of gun? Oh, I'm talking about like a. Oh, I'm talking about like a a a, 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 a shoot one bullet at a time type of rifle. Uh, nothing, not not uh, like an automatic or anything like that, or anything that was or anything like that. Just like a long shot, a long yard shot rifle. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite gun to shoot? Uh, fucking this, uh, uh, this freaking, uh, I think it was like a, a six shot fucking revolver. I think it was six shot or, or something like that. It was fucking, I don't remember. It was like three weeks ago and we all got fucking shit face afterwards. Like I have guns, but I don't really shoot them very much. I'm not like a, the biggest gun nut. You're not a responsible gun owner is what you're saying? No, I got drunk after I shot the guns, not before. <laughs> no, I'm saying you have guns, but you don't practice with them. Well, not all the time, just because I got shit I gotta do. Like, you know, not practice with your guns in case someone breaks in. Well, well I mean... like, you don't have to really have a whole lot of practice with, like, a double barrel shotgun or even, like, a little uh, fucking, like, 38 special or something. All you do is just fucking, you know, not what be retarded. Uh, I got a thirty-eight. I got a freaking nine mil somewhere, and I got a double barrel. Wait, are you telling me you don't know where your nine mil is? What? You said no. You I have, have a. You said you, have, you said you have it somewhere. That implies you don't know where it is. Oh, it's it's in the other fucking room. It's it's hanging up. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was getting called out on, you know, my gun dollars. Well, because I'm being not... irresponsible by telling people on a podcast where your guns are in your house. So now if someone comes <laughs> oh, in, I'll okay, first off, they're gonna know where your nine millimeter is. Oh yeah, because yeah, the thousands every of home invader will have listened to the mocast. Yo, oh. home invaders literally <laughs> listen to shit on the internet. Well, and yeah, in, in my experience, my home. My home invaders are people who have listened to everything I've ever made in my fucking life. I'm just <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I haven't had I haven't had my obsessive stalker fans yet. I'm not you at that phase. Them. You don't want them. Well, I mean, you have guns. If you practice with your guns, you'll be ready for them. I had not practiced with my gun. I was not ready at all. I did very little to prevent, and uh, I have to change that in the future. But that's why I've got people here with uh, gun experience. We're all going to practice. Riley and Bird are the firing squad for if it happens again. No, no, Not just Bird. <laughs> hey, uh, so I, I can totally cut this part out if you don't want to talk about it. But did you know the person who uh, fucking, like, what, are they no, broke into your home? It was, yeah, it's a guy called Spicy Salts. Who had uh, been on the? Mo knows him. Mo banned him from my Discord once. Yeah, Mo. No fucking yeah, way. The reason we broke into the house. <laughs> <laughs> you triggered him when you banned him from the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> you you drove down that is awesome with Mo. Jersey, 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 no wait, wait. Is this a Riley or like Sissy Riley? Is this a yeah, fucking this bit? This is the spicy salt from my Twitch chat. No, it's not a bit. Oh, okay. No bullshit then. Holy fuck. No yeah. way. Yeah, no, this motherfucker broke in, uh, put hand, tried to put handcuffs and tape on May, uh, and fucking, and then ran when he faced any resistance whatsoever. Uh, but as far as we can tell, he's just like some fucking weird schizo obsessive fan who has followed every movement I've ever made. So, you know, just, um, don't, in if, if anybody says anything weird to you on the internet, Block them. <laughs> That's my advice. Fucking will do, will do. God damn. Like, dude, there's been a bunch of people in sort of like a, all the communities that we tend to run into are just getting people arriving at their fucking houses, man. It's it's it, fucking it, crazy. It's too weird. I think the lockdown is partially causing it. Like, yeah. People oh, have yeah. a little human contact that they're literally trying to break in to fucking get it. Like, I don't know. I've been stuck in the house for so long they had to get you in contact by breaking into somebody's house and assaulting them. 
Did he? I literally think that's possible. Like as I mean, much human contact as possible at once. Did you? Did you say oh, something? Oh, lockdown started. I regressed into my childhood and became trans. So anything anybody else does obviously makes sense to me. So, uh, uh, did you like know this guy? Like, did you have like a prior like conversation or yeah, anything no, with I, him, I or knew, did he just do this I mean, uh, we randomly? Didn't know who he was when he broke in, but it was when he, like, so May had tweeted, "Come back, Oni Chan." And he responded, sorry for breaking into your house on one of his alts. And then we- <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. We quickly figured out, like, that it was one of his alts through just looking at his followers and shit. And, like, uh, he, like, and then we realized, like, he was schizo as fuck. And, like, like, everything he had ever said was weird. So it's not like this wasn't a weird guy, but it was actually he so He always weird. seemed weird, but he never seemed violent. Well, right, exactly. Violent. You, yeah, you. I mean, you guys know who this guy is to some extent. Like, yeah, he just said weird <laughs> shit, but like, it seemed like he was always trying to be funny. And I think it was honestly just that he was so incomprehensible that we all just thought he was trying to joke and not that he was really serious. But like, he had definitely done some weird shit. Like on one of his alts, he had gone through May's Instagram and liked every picture that she had with one of her ex boyfriends. Which was like, uh, like when she was or so. It was super weird. So she had like messaged him asking about that, and he just like would always send shit posts and stuff. So like, we didn't know what the fuck this guy was about. But yeah, like, I thought he was shit posting. I thought he was memeing. He said something about having your address in a Twitch chat, not mine, somebody else's. And I thought he was just joking. I didn't think it was real. Once we discovered how many fucking <laughs> alt accounts this guy has, we realized he is like deeply schizophrenic. Like he has a but he's so many fucking alts, dude. Like, uh, and they're all fake, uh, corporate, uh, corporate accounts. Like he creates fake corporate accounts to try to like contact YouTubers to like pretend to be an advertiser. And oh, that's it. real fucking weird. Yeah, no, he is, uh, He's out of his mind. But um, if it was anybody yeah, but weird ass salt, DMs I say he that's funny. Where he's like, I loved feeling May's skin in my hands. And it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> the spicy salt said that to you? Yeah, it was some like weird ass shit I saw. Fuck. Yeah. What a fucking um, wacky dude. Yeah. I would love to talk to him because I would love to get more information from him and a confession for a police report. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> for any reason, I'd love to talk to him. I, you know, spicy salts. If you happen, get to him hear, on the mocast hey, right now. The end of I won't me even in. turn your call directly into the police. I will merely record. Jesus. <laughs> to the internet. Jesus I Christ, man. Madness out there. So you know. Yeah, I saw that. That balls in his balls court. Move. Yeah. Huh. I'm I'm fucking sorry that happened to you, bro. Man, that's fucking crazy. Oh, man. I mean, it was uh. Crazy. Oh man! Yeah, fucking. Well, I mean, once I think, like, I was really afraid when I didn't know who it was, and then once I figured out it was Spicy Salts, and like I thought about the fact that he literally ran away before accomplishing anything, it became a lot less scary to me, which is probably a bad thing, because uh, I did. I then did not do anything about it. Because... He just showed up, caused chaos, and Naruto ran away. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> much exactly like that. Oh God! Speaking of Naruto running, when those kids were supposed to raid Area Fifty One, there was like one or two kids that got fucking shot while they were Naruto running. As oh, if, really? yeah, that that was like a big fucking <laughs> really deal. Bullet? When, yeah, yeah, like the fucking military guys, the guards over there, they they told them, happened. yeah, they fucking That's told them, yeah, they fucking told them over and over again, do not come the over here. The military had to be briefed about what Naruto running was. Yeah, That's that was funny fucking hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, thanks to the internet, the military has a ton of fucking useless ass plans for fictional events. Like, they they've <laughs> got one, running yeah, and, they, and they've got one for fucking zombie outbreaks too, which I find fucking hysterical. Like, and I'm really kind of happy that my government does have that because you know what if? But anyway, uh, shit. Who hasn't gone? Who hasn't gone yet with one of their favorite superheroes? Uh, Bird. I think Bird and, and Riley. I, I, well, I said who it was. Oh, okay. Who was your favorite superhero, Robin? Doctor. I, the Doctor. Oh, okay. Doctor Fuck Doctor who. who. Tell us why. Tell us all about it. Doctor Who, indeed. 
Yeah, Doctor Witch. Doctor Who? <laughs> Doctor House. Yeah, the, they're they're Doctor just the best House. they're the best superhero. Alright, so what is the Doctor? I don't know anything about them. The the Doctor travels through time. Oh time fucking machine. Doctor well, Who. Alright. Yeah, we were meme we were doing the, the joke. We were doing oh. the Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see I'm I'm a fucking dumb there, Mo. I'm proud yeah. of you. Yeah, I'm dumb as shit. It was like mostly over my head. I feel ashamed. But go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. You got you got traveling through space and time. Overpowered. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You got regeneration. Can't die. Two of the most broken powers of all time. He can he can though. He can die. like his species can die. Yeah, okay, but and then I mean if we want to go into the recent shit, I mean like the doctor's I'm not, not really even Gallifreyan, so Oh he's not? What what's the doctor if he's not Time Lord? Uh uh they went with uh so they had this old story that was called The Other. They they had like it was Rassilon and and Omega and the other were like the founders of Gallifrey. And originally they were gonna have the doctor be the other, and they scrapped that storyline in classic because it was garbage. Okay. But recently, what with a new that? showrunner, Chibnall brought it back and was like, oh, there's this the timeless child. So, uh, so there was this, before before the Gallifreyans could regenerate, some fucking doctor on Gallifrey found an orphan alien and, like, brought it back. And it, like, fell off a cliff. The kid fell off a cliff and then regenerated. And so the doc, uh, like, the doctor on, on Gallifrey, not the doctor, not Doctor Who, but, like, the, the scientist experimented relentlessly on this adopted child of hers until she As you would. made a made a serum that she injected into herself that allowed her to regenerate into a black man and um and then she gave that that gift to all of the gallifreyans and they became the time lords and the the child was the doctor so the doctor's not even a highborn gallifreyan who fucking knows who the doctor is okay okay so but sorry still, what what actual power <laughs> does this person have? Who the doctor? Regeneration. But for regeneration, ever. not forever. forever. They can die. Why not forever? No, they can't die. Well, if well, if you die, if you die during, if you die during regeneration, you can die. That's the catch. Oh, so don't do that. Yeah, like if if you get shot and then you start regenerating and then you get shot again, you're dead. You know, Superman's not even invulnerable because Kryptonite can kill him. Yeah. Having like a pretty much actually nulls the whole power out. Correct. Yeah. No, the doctor's not feasible. I mean, can he even travel through time? Are we sure this guy's not just hallucinating? <laughs> it's a police box. There's a time machine. Yeah, but it's stuck as a police box because the chameleon circuit's broken. It got broken in 1960s London. The chameleon circuit? What's a chameleon? Yeah, it, it, so the TARDISes have chameleon circuits. It it transforms it to blend what into like the environment you're in. What? So, like, if if you traveled to like you know, you, you know, like fucking New York, it would turn into like a, an apartment building, and it would blend in as an apartment building. It wouldn't turn into a police box. I feel like a no, police no, 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 box no. would be appropriate in New York. It would not. Shit. No, surprisingly. But what no, happened was no. the doctor stole the TARDIS and didn't know how to fly it, and flew it into 1960s London, and then the circuit broke, and it got stuck as a police box. Why can't he get a new circuit? Yeah, he's fucking lazy. That could be an episode, right? All right, let me try to make this <laughs> comprehensible for myself. What's your favorite doctor? Uh, 12, Peter Capaldi. The best doctor. The old guy, right? Yeah, the old dude. I do want to watch that one the because that guy seems guy. cool. Well, I've seen, I mean, yeah, sure. Like, of the like new... it's mostly the old guy. Okay, so yeah, of the new ones, like, I watched the first series, and I loved that guy because he was angry as fucking crazy. And Number nine, my favorite. Yeah. And then yeah. the second it stopped being that dude, I couldn't watch it anymore. He got romantic oh. and cringy. I didn't like any of the other guys. I hate women. But oh, then but Tenet's my second cool. favorite. The old dude seems cool, though, so I might check yeah, him out. Capaldi is the best. There's, like, no romantic bullshit. It's just, like, some dude who's, like, clearly having a middle-aged crisis. And he's yeah, just, like, why don't the old and or angry? Like, he, he stops using a sonic screwdriver for a while, and he's just, like, sonic sunglasses instead. And, like, he, he plays an electric guitar. Because, like, fuck it. He's, like, he I doesn't like give a fuck. Guitar. Does he ever have a tank? I feel like I saw him on a tank. Uh, probably. Was that Could that be the TARDIS? Because he got the circuit fixed? 
No, no, he did not. He, the circuit never gets fixed. Although there is another, there's another TARDIS in in Capaldi's era that they end up stealing because because Gallifrey comes back. Because the big trend with the new Doctor Who is they <laughs> they destroy Gallifrey and then they bring it back and then they destroy it again and then they bring it back and then they destroy it again and then they bring it back over and over because they can't decide what they want to do with it. So currently, is Gallifrey alive? Uh, no, re- the Master burned it down recently. It was the master a woman? I feel like the last time I saw the show, it was the mistress. In in Peter Capaldi's era, it was it was Missy. Uh, okay. Now the master is back to being a man, and the doctor's a woman. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> oh yeah, how's girl doctor? Like women or? Good. She's good. She, man, she's getting some really terrible writing though. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I've been watching. Yeah, like it. She, she's a very good actress. <laughs> Who's writing it? Uh, well, Chibnall's show running it, so I, Chibnall's writing a lot of it, I believe. Who? Chris Chibnall. Some what else did Chibnall write? Dick. Some asshole. Uh, what did What did Chibnall? Let me, uh, let me look this up on the spot here. What did Chibnall write in the other eras? He's nuts. He sucks, dick. Dog. Oh, he sucks. <laughs> he's a fucking. Hey. Hello. 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 No, he's not good. Amazing. Moffat was better. Oh, he wrote, he wrote a lot of Torchwood. I love Torchwood. Torchwood's I pretty also fucking like good. Torchwood a lot. Torchwood's pretty good. The first I don't episode like he ever wrote was forty-two. The seventh episode of the third series of Doctor Who. I want to like girl Doctor Who. Oh, yeah, I want she's to cool. Be cool girl Doctor Who. She she kind of goes back hot? to having like the classic. I mean, I mean, yeah. Right, she kind of goes back well, to having like, the Whitaker. classic. Yeah, it's Jodie Whittaker, of course. Well, no, is what that, that means. means. No, what? That, You're out of your mind. What else is she? And what would you know her from? Nothing. Right, she let me Google girl she was in an episode of Black hot. Mirror. Which one? I mean, she's. Like, uh, I wouldn't say she's hot. She was in uh, the, one the, episode of Black she's, Mirror. She's she's in the um the be right back. She's in the one where you can rewind your memories. I, she's that's the one of, wife. I think she has a good look for a doctor. She does make sense as a girl doctor, and looks wise, based on pictures. Yeah, and personality wise, she goes back to kind of like the classic hot? doctors. You think this woman is hot? Yeah, why not? She didn't look too bad. I'm just I, she's not. look spoken she's like not, I'm just gonna say us us. I trans, mean, I am an incel, so us chances have we taste okay. <laughs> <That's all laughs> yeah. To quote she's Jack, like, what Arthur, I wanted to look I'm a like as a kid. I'll try anything. Her outfit is fucking awesome. It, what What does she wear differently? She wears the fucking like rainbow shirt and the fucking overalls. Fucking cool as hell. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. I'm looking at that picture. I like it. I like her. Yeah. Outfit. With the hair. I mean, it's like, but I would wear that, which is probably not a good, right? Her screwdriver looks like it was smashed together in a junkyard. Wait, what is her? I don't even know what her screwdriver. It looks like a dildo. It straight looks like a fucking dildo. Like I can't even. Okay, yeah, her (laughs) screwdriver's not very good. Thank you, Riley. (laughs) How long has she been the doctor? Like two years now, three years. For two, for two seasons, for two series. Does she have a male companion? She has three companions: two men and one woman. At oh. once? Group At love. once, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the first Doctor had three companions, Barbara, Ian, and Susan. Okay. Uh, I've not seen any old Doctor Who. Susan! Yeah, uh, Susan's his granddaughter. Uh, if, oh. if someone was uh, to watch Doctor Who for the first time, where would you suggest to start at, Robin? Uh, Rose. Just start at Rose. <laughs> No, don't do that. Don't watch the classics. Don't watch the classics. The classics look like something I'd really, really be uh, be into since I love the original and uh, original and series of Star that Trek. After. Well, you... Watch the modern, then watch the okay. classic. Mo Diggity is old enough 
that he should just watch the classics because right. they will be things that are in the wheelhouse of his experience, which is it'll be relevant. It'll be like have. nostalgia. Yeah, I feel but like I'm being that. like you know low key insulted a little bit, I, like I, you I know. No, you know what? <laughs> like I'm not going to get the Imagine Dragons references or anything with the new fucking Doctor or something. I fucking hate Imagine Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm old compared to a lot of these motherfuckers. I'm 29, but like I'm 40, I, bro. I know. I I'm just saying, like, like for me, I call myself. I used to call myself Digital Boy. I'm called Digi now, but like I'm called Digi because I only used to like things that were very new. It took me a long time to adapt to watching older shit. And uh, I've, I've always got a kind of jealousy for people who can just watch stuff that's older and be like, I see what's good about this. You know, like for me, I have to be like, set aside the audio quality and all that. And be like, oh, you know what? This is actually better than anything new. Actually, everything new is shitty and fucking too meta and lost in itself and narcissistic. Yeah, I, I get that complaint a lot from a lot of uh, younger, or like the younger generation. Like they don't, they'll look at like you know, uh, uh, Star Wars: Return of the Jedi, and they they look at it, they're like, dude, this is shitty fucking graphics. Or they'll look at you know, even Lord of the fucking Rings, you know, the very first one, and uh, oh, they'll they'll point out all the fucking problems. <laughs> don't don't tell me that people think that has shitty graphics. Oh yeah, they they fucking do, especially even compared to any fucking like modern day fucking TV show. Uh, they'll fucking bag on it, but I think it's fucking just fine. Like there's nothing really l wrong totally with the old shit or the new stuff. Amazing, and any speak to the contrary will make me fucking fart my asshole inside out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll fucking. That'd be a I'll, I'll, good effect. I'll second that. I'll second that emotion. <laughs> All right, uh, Robin, you got anything it's not else? Even, it's not even graphically why you shouldn't watch classic. It's just a whole different experience because you're you're just getting classic Doctor Who. Is is <laughs> like old comic books where it's like, you know, here's a story and then it's done and then we don't think about it ever again. Have you ever seen Briscoe County Junior? No, I feel like this is a thing you guys have talked about a bunch. It's an amazing oh, fucking show. It's an amazing show. It's got uh, Bruce I don't Camp. Like Bruce Jr. anymore. <laughs> oh, oh. Why? What happened? <laughs> uh, no, this is a show that uh, Riley was just. Uh, Riley is like on a huge cowboy kick. He's big. Yeah, I, I've seen like, his map. The cowboy shit. And oh, so he watched this show. It's pretty fucking entertaining. It's like. It's one of those – it feels like an anime to me in that it straddles the line between yeah. being a parody of itself and just being sincerely exactly what it is. Um, yeah, I like that. Well, Riley's got cowboy in his blood. Riley, you so, are like, – it's, it's an obligation. You should probably pull that a little bit closer. You think I need to be closer to the microphone, Gigi? <laughs> How does he sound? What do I you sound amazing. Say? I sound perfect. Wait, Riley's been there? I thought we were just talking about Riley. No, we're talking about Sissy now. Wait, he's in the room? What do Shut you mean? up, Robin. I didn't know Riley was here. I'm right here. What are you talking about? No, I didn't know Visual cringe, Genius cringe, was here. Cringe, cringe, cringe. <laughs> Jesus. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, oh, so, Robin, do you have anything else you want to add about the doctor? Yeah, just go. Just start with Rose. All right, I'll, I'll watch the classics. I'll, I'll go. I'll go check the shit out because I, I've always been. Well, I've always wanted to watch Doctor Who. It's always been something that's been. I've been really attracted to, but I've never had fucking time to watch it. Uh, so anyway, uh, Bird, what's your favorite superhero? Uh, uh, Preacher from Preacher. I don't remember his name. Fucking a! I love that. I yes, love the show and I love the comic. All right, so uh, oh, why regale us with tales of uh, Preacher? He can make anyone do whatever he wants. Just by saying it. Like, Mo, right now, if I was Preacher, I could say, improve your golf game, and your golf game would be improved, or you'd die. Whichever one was more likely. <laughs> that's a hell of, that's a hell of an extreme. That's a hell of an extreme. <laughs> well, I mean... The stakes got raised dramatically. In the He's like, improve your golf game, or you're going to fucking die. Well, how confident are you that you can improve your golf game? Dude, I have zero golf games, so I guess maybe I have a good shot since, you know, yeah. some golf games better than none. 
So it what sounds less like, like his power like... is making people do things and more like his power is to just instantly kill anyone. <laughs> well, he could do that. <laughs> no, Bird's dumb. I am. It's not that if you can't do what he tells you to do, you die. It's that you will <laughs> try to do it. So if he tells you to Until you like die. Literalism. If he tells you to pour your heart out, tear your heart out. You'll tear your heart, you'll tear your heart out. What if you're like Jerry from Rick and Morty and your golf game cannot be... That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not a me system. <laughs> They're not going to kill you for it because they have to exist until you're good at it. Jesse just goes like, hey. But like, if they give you something impossible, do you just try to do it until you just yeah. die? He's like, jump over the barn. You just go and fucking try to jump over the barn until you die. You'll jump up and down for a while. Then you'll get a vehicle and try to attempt a ramp situation. <laughs> You have to jump over the barn. If you can't do it, it's like doing meth. That's the death. The guy, it's like a guy giving you meth. Yeah, his Why power is just meth? to give people meth. Right, Why yeah, even? Meth. Like, <laughs> like uh, go fuck yourself. Just well, like any good preacher. Yikes. They're gonna go get that penis in their butt. Jesus they have Christ! To go fuck themselves. If he says, "Go fuck yourself." You have to go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, at one point, he uh, preacher Jesse tells the character, "Go to hell." <laughs> and then he is. He turns hell. around and he's just. Like he falls through the church floor and just. And just... <laughs> Dude, that episode, that episode was really fucked up, man. Because then that guy came back, and or no, no, he's he's not back yet. He was still uh, running around in hell the last time I checked. But I've been watching the show. I've only read a few comics. Uh, Does but, he have any friends in hell? Uh, he's kind of friends with Hitler, and then he really? sort of. And then he uh, turned his back like on him for Bonnie and Clyde. And... Hell, their go-to is Hitler, because like it's always Hitler. Think that nigga ain't in hell, like obviously. But like, come on, who else? Who else do we know is in hell? Like, I mean, Gandhi. Oh, Stalin, That's Pol Pot, the... Mao. <laughs> Gandhi, okay, Gandhi did tell his wife not to use medicine, and then used medicine himself. That's some fucked up. Oh, yeah, shit. that's fucked up, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. Uh, what would you, what would you say is one of your favorite uh, uh, preacher arcs, Bird? Just trying to save money. That's some Critical. shit I do to men. I'd be like, no, bitch. Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> no, bitch, medicine. Go to hell, too, right? Die with God. And then die with God. Men could die and go to God. Oh, uh, what? I mean, well, yeah, she'll go to heaven, you'll go to hell. I guess that's fair. You're just trying to look out, you know? You're like, you're looking out for that immortal soul. I don't yeah. care about my own, but I'll protect yours you at the men, very please. least. Yeah. I would never let men do drugs <laughs> or drink alcohol or fornicate. Goddamn. Uh, so, Bird, yeah. what, what's one of your favorite uh, arcs in Preacher? Uh, the one where they go to find Jesus, or the descendant of Jesus, and the, the descendant of Jesus ends up being an inbred hick called Humperdoo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Humperdoo. Yeah. Sounds how, like a bread. How does that well, pan out? I don't know. Humperdoo, I think they just, they're killing a bunch of Humperdoos because they have a bunch of clones. It's been a while since I've seen the show. I want to try Humperdoo bread. Humperdoo bread. What the fuck is Humperdoo bread? It sounds it's like, like pumpernickel. Yeah, exactly. I don't think I've ever had pumpernickel. Have I ever had pumpernickel? No, I don't think I have. And pickles. <laughs> I don't even see is that's the thing. I don't even know what a fucking pumper is or a nickel. So I don't know how you can combine the have two. You had rye bread? Have you had rye? I love rye bread. It's like even more intense rye, like a darker fucking like if rye was like a light skinned dude, then pumpernickel's like a dark skinned dude, if you know what I mean. Oh, all right, all right, because, you know, I, I might as well just say what I was going to say. It was like, yeah, that type of rye just really attacks your fucking taste buds and sort of sucks the moisture out of your fucking mouth. But I can't help but eat, you, you know, like... about black people there, Mo? You know what? I don't know. You, let's just move on. Let's just move on. Yeah, we're getting dangerous here. <laughs> no, I want to hear all the uh, details. I want, please tell me, Mo. Uh, 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 Sissy Riley, shut your ass. Anyway, so... <laughs> The details are that there are nine grains in this wheat. In fact, uh, those nine grains include... Actually, I can't think of nine distinct grains. Wheat? Oat? Okay. Um, cereal? That's not... <laughs> Cereal's a grain. Whole grain? The That's new name grain. of the show is the Grain Cat. 
if somebody <laughs> can name nine grades, I'm gonna be actually impressed. I'm not gonna lie. Musely. What do you mean? You're not naming nine One grains. One grain, two <laughs> grain, red grain, blue grain. I'm sure they don't tell you all nine of the grains you have to put on the bread at Jimmy John's. They just well, you don't put grain. grains on the bread. <laughs> you don't make <laughs> that bread <laughs> fresh every morning? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I thought you had that stuff fermenting in the back for months. Why the grains? <sighs> Jimmy Whiskey. Go, go, power Grangers. Anyway, so we'll, we'll go ahead and <laughs> add on that. <laughs> Each grade is represented by its own Power Ranger. And they have attitudes. Give me nine grains with attitude. attitude. Anyway, so that's a, that's a, the last Power Rangers reference I think I'll make on this show. Uh, Bird, do you have anything else you'd like to add about Preacher? Uh, I think you could go to church a little bit more, Mo. Uh, I'll consider that. I'll consider that. You need the love of God to bless your life, Mo. You need love of God. I like time to watch the movie, babe. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the movie about the pig? Was yeah. There, the, was there a sermon? <laughs> At the end when the guy, old guy says, like, you did good, pig. That'll do, pig. Yeah, that'll do, that'll pig. Do, that'll pig. do, pig. Yeah. That'll do. I'm glad you remembered that. <laughs> <laughs> I totally butchered it. <laughs> yeah, that's the. Uh, I I know I saw Babe and maybe like Charlotte's Web. That's the only times I went to church. My dad went to a. Why rock. was your church so obsessed with showing pig in the movie? I don't know. My dad <laughs> was going to this rock church for a while, and they had a movie night, and he was like, "Yo, y'all should come to movie night." And everybody was very like Genki and upbeat. They were like, "Yeah, rock church," and I was like, "This is gay as." The church's mascot was a pig. It was God's little pig. Yeah. Um. God's cool though. I'm down. I'm a black Israelite. <laughs> God's cool though. I'm down. That's right. Hey, hey, five percent. Where we at? <laughs> All right. Uh. So. It's a real ten uh, percent answer, Mo. Well, I'm only giving like fifteen percent of my total fucking uh, power here. <laughs> Anyway, so other Riley, uh, what, what's your what's your favorite uh, uh, comic book character or comic book superhero? Django Freeman. Django Freeman. Who is Django Freeman? From Django, Django. Unchained. Jang Django Unchained also is a comic book series, and he had a collab with Zorro that you read recently. In fact, there was a Django Zorro fucking. Oh yeah, so that's why he's a comic book character uh, as well as a superhero. Django and Zorro have a Quentin Tarantino written comic book crossover miniseries. It's six issues where Django goes to New Mexico and, or no, uh, Arizona and helps uh, El Zorro beat up a rich guy in Mexico. It's pretty great. I don't know. I, I don't want to say too much because it'll spoil the plot. I mean, it's. What kind of rich guy? Like, what right, that's what like? I don't want to say. Okay. Like, it's. I mean, it's a Tarantino movie. It's just in six comic books. Yeah, I, kn I never I knew. Want... It's like a full graphic novel. Yeah, yeah. No so shit. It's a tissue miniseries. But it's, is that the like first a... time Tarantino's written a graphic novel? As far as I know, yeah. Damn. No it's, shit. It sounds worthwhile. Yeah, it sounds really worthwhile to pick up. See, I, I always thought it was just a regular movie, but I didn't know there was like a comic book series uh, attached to it because I'm I'm huge into that movie. I love the shit out of it, so I'll probably pick up the comic book because I love anything fucking Tarantino yeah, anyway. Go to readcomicsonline.com. <laughs> that is a great website. Oh, well, yeah, I'll probably go to that too. But, you know, I like having a physical comic book collection, to be honest. Like, I I've agree. got, like, a, I, I've got, I, like, I am only likely to read while I'm taking a shit. And I got to tell you, physical copies are the best when you're on that porcelain throne. What oh. if you run out of toilet paper? Then you fucking crumble that <laughs> book up and you do what God intended. Like, look, ain't nothing. You better read fast. Book. This was a good book, and now it will be a good flush. Like, <laughs> if you've already contained the information, you don't really need it again. Like, yeah, I, read and flush it. I've actually got a my books. take what you need. Instead of a bookmark, I rip out a page every time I finish it. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> every time you finish it. That'd be really cool. Actually. I can't. I can't it's imagine. A I a personality quirk. I can't. A book and you just tear the fucking page out when you're done with it. So nobody can fall out of the I can't imagine how your septic system <laughs> must look like. That's definitely a character I have to explore. Well, and then when you write when you write the book and you are reading the book, you have to rip out pages its own way as you read the book. Yeah, <laughs> like it's a feature. It will be advised in the front of the book, like, hey, if you wanna, if you really wanna get into the head of this character, you've got to fucking tear this book to shit, dude. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My comic book collection right now consists mainly of a. Uh, DMC, DMZ, Trans Metropolitan, both fucking great fucking series. I highly I recommend them. Metropolitan. Yeah. I know it's very like, it's like the guy's basically a, like Hunter Thompson Gonzo journalist type character, right? Yeah. Yeah, I need to read that then. Yeah, they, they actually borrow a lot from Hunter S. Thompson and like a, I'm sure a few other outlaw journalists that I, I whose references are like, you know, fly over my head. But uh, yeah, I, I really recommend that. Like the Walking Dead comic is actually fucking really, really good too. It yeah. peters off. It peters off a little bit on some of the later issues, but uh, it picks back up. Like I picked up all three of the compendiums that are out so far. I'm sure oh, there'll be a fourth, but I'll probably pick that up too. If you say later issues, this being time relative, like what? Where would you say it peters off, and where does it pick back up? Uh, right when they're uh. The right when they show up, I think it's uh Pittsburgh, and they uh pick up uh the the princess. Yeah. I think, like they they get too like over the top with her like uh, craziness and all that. It's sort of a, uh, it like you you're you're supposed right. to you expect crazy shit. Assessment. Do you like the Pittsburgh arc a whole lot or what like... fucking Pittsburgh arc? Is what it Pittsburgh? All right, it, it might be the wrong city. I'm thinking. Alan I know it's Pantera? the East Coast. No, no, no. It's it's way uh, uh, like way after Alexandria, like uh. Uh, like the gang Zari, like a, a what's her name, the fucking black chick, uh, Michonne, Michonne, and a few other characters found this uh, gigantic, uh, thriving fucking city where there's like millions of fucking people, but it's like a caste system, and whatever you were uh, before the fall, uh, you're you're that now. So if yeah, you were no, you were upper crust, about... yeah, it's yeah, like, like the end of the fucking comics, though. So how did it pick back up? Oh, well, I was in the middle of the... I haven't finished up the comic yet. Wait, it's so, long well, Yeah, yeah. But that's like... The comic the, is, yeah. The end of the book. It's not the middle of the book. The middle of the book well, is like neat. Well, like I said, I haven't finished the series yet, and I don't know how far uh, uh, further along it goes. But, so uh, I, I, I'm stopped right at my point right oh, now. Yeah, no. Mo, you're like eight issues from the end of walking dead mo if you're where you are saying you're at in the book couldn't you tell by looking at the rest of the book you haven't read how close you are to being done well like i just read the comics and i don't really look it up on youtube or obsess over it i just read the well, comics no, put them down and no, 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 no. read what the issues the <laughs> oh well i'm in the fucking dark right now i can't fucking look at it i'm not asking you to do it right now <laughs> I'm not asking you to do it. I'm not asking you to look at the book. I, I like. like sh surely, if there were one page left of the book, you would know if there were a page left. But because you could tell hey, by the I, pictures I, of the I, book. I, I, have shows, pages, I have shows marked on my anime list as like watched 20 out of 25 episodes. I understand. I've been there. <laughs> look. Sometimes you just are like, Look, this shit's not good no more. I don't care if it's about to end. This it fucking sucks. Anymore. All right. Well, you know, well, I I guess I look like a freaking dingbat then. Maybe I might not like the ending. I'm not sure. <laughs> I love it. It'll be good. It'll be great. Uh, it's really surprising. They didn't even tell anybody when it was ending. So when it ends, it's a surprise. Like, uh, people were reading it as the books were coming out. Kurtman kept saying he was going to write it forever, and then he just planned a whole ending and then ended the book and was like, ah, I lied to you guys. Oh, that's man, that's fucking crazy. It's pretty good. The ending was super jarring, and they were, at the end of it, they were like, all right, it's over. That's yeah, I was very confused. I'm a huge fan of authors lying about their work. Yeah. Uh, do you know about Madoka Magica at all? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, where the author just like said, "Oh, I'm trying to like write like a traditional magical girl show. I just don't want to write dark stuff because like he was known for everything he writes, everybody dies in it. Sure, so, and then he just did that. Yeah, exactly. Like, well, episode three, one of the main characters who was in all of the marketing and branding gets her head bitten off, and he was just like, "Yeah, I lied." And God damn. Him. Awesome, and it was one of those things where like episode one came out and everyone was like okay but where's the twist like it, it's yeah. hard to explain if you didn't live through well, it where it was like okay but where's the part where they all die and then episode two came out and nobody died and it was like oh wait is this actually like yeah it's gonna be a wholesome magical well, girl it, show it feels different depending because like in in america a lot of the reception was that people just expected it to be a magical girl show and then were like really mind blown when it was a twist if you know Magical Girls, like, for real, if you're, like, a real fucking anime fan, you would watch the show and be like, this seems weird as fuck. Like, the show is weird as shit. It does not feel like a Magical Girl show. It feels like someone's gonna die. You're just waiting for it to happen. And then it happens, and you're like, God damn it, I should have known this was gonna happen. Um, and Well, then there's that other level of, if you know the author, it's like, of course, yeah. it's not happening what's going on. Right. Uh, but it still got me when when the show came out. I fucking was like, "What?" It was awesome, and it just kept getting worse and worse in a, in the best way. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll have to watch that. It's pretty good. I, I'm sure you have. I'm sure I made you watch it when we were kids. Probably. There's a manga. You make me watch anime again. So yesterday we watched the first seven episodes of Cowboy Space. Cowboy Bebop! Cowboy Boop Boop! Bebop! Wait, you watched more than seven, right? We watched more than seven. Okay, we watched like 11 at least. Yeah, I think we're on 12. There's this uh, manga, I think it's like Parasite something or other. It's like alien, Parasite aliens come down and they fucking just like eat the shit. It's like gruesome murders all over the place and it turns... Oh, is it ink? the best action anime I've watched. Yeah, I, I really love the the manga a whole lot, and I started getting into the show, but I'm only like four uh, episodes into the first season, so I got to pick that up. I think that would be a lot of fun to watch. I don't watch a whole lot of anime, but I try to. I just forget, because I'm usually into marathoning other shit. Uh, just Let me watch clarify. Dog, I'll tell Let you all. clarify when I say best action anime. I mean, it just had the best fight scenes I've ever seen in an anime. I, anybody, if you need an anime to watch... Just say, hey, Digi, what should I watch right now? I'll be like, yeah. and Digi, what watch right now? It's all good. I know every anime. I am the god of anime. <laughs> what should I watch? What should you watch right now? What genre? Yeah. What genre do you want to watch? Get something good. Give me something spicy. Anything that's spicy. Spicy. Yeah, all right. Something good. Um, do you like old shit or new shit? Usually Usually like online. I mean, if you like Sword Online, I mean, I, mean, I like Sword Online. I'm not saying Sword Online's a ten. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm Zero. saying I just, hey, yes, I, I I haven't seen the new season that's come out yet. Okay, but do you like it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, Dot Hack. Dot Hack is old. It's old and it's it's alright. It's old. Oh. Shit. You can't be recommending it's shit like older than these motherfuckers is. Um have you seen I'm looking I'm literally looking at all the posters on my wall. <laughs> trying to like summon a fucking anime out of all the posters. But I don't know what the po- like I didn't arrange these. Mint did the poster design of my room now, so I'm just like fucking mint, god damn it, she ruins oh. everything. No, it looks shit. great. She uh we have the same aesthetic design sense, I think, me and Mint. Um, have you, uh, have you ever seen Gintama, any of you? No, I can't say I have. I've seen a little of it. I it's would like a, gar- it's like I guarantee, parody, right? I guarantee everybody would like Gintama. It's impossible not to like it. It's like a, it's like a parody, Shonen, right? Or Sergeant Frog. Sergeant Frog. Yeah. That's some that's some real shit. What's Mint, this? Mint is giving me some gangster points. Like, yo, nigga, you know so <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's the kind of expression she gave me. All right, what was the different question? Okay, we're gonna go different push. question for Digi. Oh, that was uh, Wakakozake. It was a 
three minute episode uh short series about this girl who goes to different restaurants in japan and eats very japanese food and is like ah this food is so fucking good and this beer is so fucking good and that's basically it like it's 12 episodes of this bitch going god damn i love chicken sounds amazing yeah it's pretty good she's uh got she's this cute blonde girl voiced by miyuki sawashiro who's one of my favorites so you know and she goes push it push you all right all right we're hitting the two hour mark here i want to go ahead and wrap it up uh Hold on, i want to ask you to do something uh, oh okay okay my bad didn't know you had a question go ahead i want to get into magical girls i've never watched a magical girl show which one should i watch Okay, I would say Heart Catch Precure is the best introduction because character designs are really good. It's got badass fight scenes. It's a good encapsulation of what's good about Magical Girls, and it's fast paced. If you don't mind slower pace, Card Captor Sakura is also a really good choice. So those are like I the second Card Captor Sakura. Yeah, those are the two I would pick as like the the introduction to to card to uh, Magical Girls. Hell yeah. Sure. 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 <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Riley, is that, that all the questions you want to ask uh, Senior DG? Yeah, I just wanted to ask what it's magical girl you watch. Yeah, yeah, those are the ones. All right, good. All right. Uh, Robin, where can they find you? What are you doing lately find and all that? Me. Which one do you want me to answer? Sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, where can, where can they find one? you? Yeah, where, where can they find you? I'll, I'll just edit this oh, part okay. out where I look fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on Twitter, at Inside Alloy, and I, I stream on Twitch under the same name, twitch.tv slash Inside Alloy. Inside Alloy, as in A-L-L-O-Y? Yes, as in Insight, Insight. like like Fox, oh. and then Alloy, as in like Metal. Okay. Good. He thinks about metal a lot. I like how you I broke do. I down a lot about metal. I like That's how. Good. What's your favorite metal? <laughs> What's my favorite metal? Yeah. Welcome to the metal cast. Ribs are opening. You know that one. Aluminum. It's very. It's very versatile. Okay. That's fair. Yes, aluminum. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, Sissy Brooks. Where can they find you at, bro? On Twitter at Riley Tweets. On Twitch at twitch.tv slash Riley Streams. Riley spelled Riley, right? Yes, Riley. R I E L Y. Because <laughs> my mom doesn't know how to spell. Riley Brooks on YouTube. Wait, that's, is that really how your name is spelled? Yes. Oh, Wait, did she do it like that on purpose or on accident? She did it on purpose because she thought that was the way to spell it. He's oh, like. Oh, no. He's. <laughs> He's like the guy that gets Brian, but it's uh, spelled B R Y A N. He's on the. I like that thing. Name. I thought it was like like Nevaya or whatever, like some bullshit Nevaya. aesthetic thing where it's like I'm gonna spell your name wrong because it looks cool. <laughs> to be fair, Brian with a Y Brian. does look cool. Grew up with anyway, let me finish Nevaia. my million Evan backwards, fucking stripper name. Holy fuck! All right, um, pixels, polygons, and fun. All the podcast platforms on the world. About video games, it's good. Pokemon Variety Hour, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Riley Podcast, Mega Feed, those same police places, and that's it. That's all of it. All right. Yay! Yay. All right, Bird, you got anything for us? Any? I uh, got my doing? Twitter and in. Oh wow, uh, there's some crashing noises going on. I guess my Twitter and Instagram won't be shared on this oh, podcast. Oh, down the stairs. <laughs> Twitter broke. Dun, dun, dun. Also, check the hashtag Whatcha Cooking because we got a cooking show. It's on the Digi Collective channel. Ooh. Bird cooking shit. Woo! Bird's a cooker. I make food. I grilled it's today. Funny. Hell yeah, I'll have to check that out. Fuck, dude. It was some fucking fajitas. 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 Goku's greatest Mexican rival, fajita. <laughs> it's been in progress for years. It's finally what? here. What you cooking is finally here. I know, right? It's like I finally have a place to not be concerned yeah, about messing it, up a kitchen. It started because I turned on a camera and asked Bird a question. Now this what you cooking is real. 
What's you cooking? Uh, I just never made it to the editing bay part. I, I've filmed a ton. I just <laughs> man doesn't like to edit, and I'm not gonna learn a girl sport. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Editing's for women. I don't disagree with that. I'm an actor. I can't edit. Karen Fino doesn't That's edit fair. movies. He's an adult man. He directs and writes. It's true. Star Wars was saved in editing by his wife. So it's all editing by women. All the best editing is women. Yeah, women created sense. editing techniques. It's a feminine nurturing job. <laughs> Writing is for men. Ah. 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 Uh, Mo and Riley, can I please get a err from you? Ah. Uh, Riley, that was pathetic. Can I get a more beastly R like I know you can do? Thank you. <laughs> Uh, that was that was like two out of ten, Riley. God damn. Uh. All right, I started biting my head. We gotta wrap this up. All right, good, good, good. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, uh, other Riley, what what do you got, buddy? What do you mean? Uh, what do you got, pal? <laughs> I mean, sorry. Uh, like, <laughs> where, where 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 can our <laughs> listeners find you at? Your listeners? Yes. <laughs> at are... ASC. No wait, that's wrong. ASCpresents.com. No, you're currently uh, Void Gazer Vizzy. On I Twitter. Think. Yeah, Void Gazer Vizzy. On because Twitter. me and Riley are about to start the Void Gazers podcast, which we're probably going to record like right after this or something. Yeah, like 20 so, dabs from now. Yeah, 20 dabs Holy after shit. the podcast. We will also record a Void Gazers podcast. So check that out. If Imagine if the Duncan Trussell family hour. Sounds like a good time. Good. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> funny. <sighs> All right, is that, oh, was that what, is that it from you, man? Oh yeah, yeah. All no, right, good deal, good. All right, all right. Uh, Digi, where can they find you at? Well, I'm also on the Void Gazers podcast on the Digi Collective <laughs> channel, but obviously I'm also on the Digi channel on YouTube where I talk about anime. I don't think I'm gonna be doing much else besides the YouTube channels and my Twitter account at Digi Brah. Can't. Cantant! Oh, the Cantant channel also that I do with my... If you want to hear me talk about current anime. Hey, Cantant! Spelled <laughs> K-H-A-N-T-E-H-N-T. Wow, that's obnoxious to type. <laughs> but you'll still fucking memorize it. Don't worry. L links will be in the description, everyone. Absolutely. Thank you for that. All right. All right, and finally, you can catch me at modiggity42 on parlor instagram and uh, uh the other thing that i do youtube uh twitch.tv slash mo diggity and uh anchor.fm uh the dash mo dash cast or the dash mo the cast, or the fucking mo cast whatever links are gonna be in the description it, it, links are bullshit anyway thanks for coming out everyone i really do appreciate it. thank you for listening catch us next week when i put something else up all right catch you later ta-ta Bye. Yeah.